you find yourself slowly moving down a dark hallway. Something tells you it's not safe here, but you need to press forward. Spooky music is playing somewhere in the background, and oh, killer robots with big guns are walking right towards you. But that's not really a problem. You know what to do. You calmly reach for your weapon and find... You, you can't move. You look down. You have no body. Only mechanical legs and arms. You're locked in T-pose. If only you had some way to fight back. If only your creator had gone to cgcookie.com and learned how to animate first-person characters. If only they had known that they just had to take the left-hand IK, use a constraint, and parent it to the FK bone for Ah, oh, well. I guess that wasn't so bad. At least it was completely painless, almost as if you were in some sort of simulation. But where are you now? Are you dead? You can move! By Jove, your creator must have taken that new animation course by Jonathan Lampel. Rock on. Now you can respawn, survive, win the game, get the trophy, sell that trophy for digital currency, pay back your loans from robot school, win the heart of the robot girl with your newfound financial responsibility, sit back, relax, and watch more Blender animation tutorials by better animators like Wayne Dixon, so you can get upgraded with even more skills. It's the peak of robot potential and self-realization. The possibilities are endless and the future is bright. We've already modeled guns, textured them, and rigged them in previous courses. So now it's time for animation. I'll show you exactly how to animate all the actions needed for a game, from quick boring ones like standing around doing nothing, to more complex stuff like reloading and transforming the rifle into a freaking sniper. Since we want to use as few frames as possible to keep things responsive for the player, it doesn't take as long as you might think. We just need to make sure that the frames we do use are the right ones. Along the way, you'll become a pro at working with actions in the NLA editor and action editor, working with curves, structuring your linked files, exporting things to Unity, and a whole lot more. The hands and arms are all your players will see of your character, so it's super important to make those few frames expressive and interesting, while also not distracting from what they're doing in the game. I'll be going over the do's and don'ts of first-person animation as we go along, so you'll be prepared to take these skills and transfer them to any other type of FPS game, or any other 3D animation app for that matter. Whether you've been following along with the other first-person courses in the series, or you just want to jump right into this one, you'll learn a lot. Click the link below, and I'll see you there. Until then, watch your six and stay frosty. Jonathan over and out.